Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 110. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 107 to 111. Hey, we have a great trick here. We want to use conditional formatting to highlight any text that has the word PED anywhere in it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, since you have to use, we have to use a true-false formula for conditional formatting, let's build a true-false formula here and copy it down and just see how it delivers a true anytime it sees a PED anywhere in the text string. Uh, we're going to use the mid equals MID. That function extracts something from the middle of a text string. And it needs, uh, you got to tell it what text, so it'll say, hey, Look at that text. And then it needs a starting number to where to start. So for right now, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So we could type a 5 in there, but that, that wouldn't be good for start number. Let's do comma. 5 would work, but we want a function that will always search through it and find it, find it wherever it is. And then we need to uh, tell it how many characters. Once it knows where to start, how many characters. Well, luckily, there's a function. There's two functions, search and find. <clears throat> and if you look up to the uh, top, I have uh, lots of notes always about the, uh, the things we do in these videos. And what it does is you tell the search or find function, hey, look through this and tell me where ped is, and it will tell you the starting position. So it does exactly what we want. Now, search is not case sensitive. So if you're uh, uh, don't care about case, you're looking for little p, e, d, or big p, e, d, then you use search. Um, if you are worried about case sensitive, then you use find. I'm going to do search this time. And now search, it needs to say find what text. What in the world text are you looking for? Hey, we're going to click right there and then hit F4 to lock it going down. I, I hit F4 twice to put the dollar sign in front of the row reference, because when we copy it down, we want it locked there. So that's the text to find, comma, and within what text? Oh, this right here. And that's a relative cell reference. Uh, we don't need to worry about st starting number, because we want to find the uh, first one. So close parentheses. Now look, this search will deliver, should deliver, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. In fact, if you want to prove it to yourself, you can highlight that part of the formula and hit F9. Sure enough, it does that. Control Z, don't leave that 5 there. Now, that's the start number. But how many characters? Once we know 5, how many characters do we need to go to know what to extract? Watch this. We'll use the LEN function. That, and we can click on this, and F4, F4. That counts how many characters there are, right? So if we're looking for this, 1, 2, 3, that's the perfect thing to do. Now, close parentheses, and then Control Enter. That just puts the formula in the cell and keeps it highlighted. And copy it down a few. Oh, look at that. It delivers a value error. Let's click in here and hit F2. The part of this function that delivers a value, value error means that there's some argument in a function or some operand like plus or multiplication or something like that that doesn't work in the formula. If you highlight all this right here, search, and hit F9, you can see it's delivering a value because it searched for it, but it couldn't find it. I'm going to Control Z and then Escape. But that won't matter. Getting a value like that won't matter when we're doing conditional formatting. Now, I want to click in this cell and hit F2 because that won't work. What we need is true or false for conditional formatting. So I hit F2, and we simply say at the end here, equals, does this equal PED? F4, F4, Control Enter. And now that's true. We can copy this down. Copy it all the way down. We can't double click there. Control Z. Actually, we can. Uh, we could double click, but that means we'd have to hide this column. Right click and then hide. That's a pretty cool trick. And now, uh, if you don't have any of these here, you can double click. And then notice this says BD. A, B, D, E. No, that doesn't work. So let's unhide it. Highlight the two columns, right click, and unhide. Now let's click in this cell and hit F2 and scoop this out because we're going to copy, Control C, Escape, and now let's apply conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight the top of that range and then Control Shift 
down arrow. When you're doing con conditional formatting, the formula is always going to be in memory, even though it's going to be copied throughout all those cells. So when you're highlighting, you always got to be aware of where the active cell is. Remember, that formula is looking at that cell. So that's the active cell we want. And we'll put this formula in memory. The um, conditional formatting in 2007 is home. Styles, conditional formatting, new rule. Escape, uh, in 2003, you go to formatting, conditional formatting. Um, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. It's Alt-O-D. That's O and D. I'm going to say new rule. Um, by the way, if you were doing it the long way here, styles, conditional formatting, new rule, you'd actually have to click right there, use a formula to determine. Right? I'm going to do Alt-O-D. Now in 2000, we, in 7, we got to click new rule and then uh, click that and go there. In 2000, this is 7, right? In 2003, the dialog box looks totally different. You have to select the very first text box the drop down arrow says is formula. Now control V and there's our formula and we'll tell it what format. Click the format button and we'll do fill. In 2003 it says uh, patterns. I'm going to click uh, red and then I'm going to say font and I'm going to say uh, say white. Click OK, click OK, click OK. There's many more OKs to click in uh, 2007. Now watch this. I'm going to test this. I'm going to just click somewhere in this one and type PED. Oh, look. So even when it's in the middle, it's fine. So it doesn't have to be in the same uh, position. Not only that, but because we built this smartly, notice we're searching for PED. But what if we wanted to search for bed? Just BED. Yeah. And there it is. There's the ones that have a uh, bed somewhere in the middle. So that is an awesome trick. Uh, what text to highlight are true, false, and conditional formatting. See you next trick.